I'm going to show you how to make a miniature schnauzer in icing. You will need three colours of icing, one grey, one white, one black, a sharp knife, edible glue, a paintbrush. And depending on if you want your schnauzer to be completely edible or not, either a toothpick for non-edible or dried spaghetti for edible. Start off with your grey paste. You'll want to split your grey paste into about three equal parts. One part will be the body, one will be the head, and the other will make up the ears and the tail and the legs. Roll one of your parts into a long oblong shape. Um, and slightly flatten it down um, so then it's kind of flat on the front and that's going to create your body. Then you want to insert either your toothpick or your dried spaghetti depending on which one you're using into your body leaving some sticking out the top that's what you're going to put your head on. Then take your icing for your head, you'll need to roll it into a ball and then you'll want to start um, drawing out some of the icing to create the nose so it's like a cone on the end of your ball so if you just roll it so then you have that cone shape that's going to create the nose for you. Then put your head on top of the body, putting it into either your spaghetti or your cocktail stick and that will keep it in place. If you put a bit of edible glue on your icing where the body and the head meet, that will keep it together. Then you want to take two little bits of icing, about the same size. flatten them down and then try and make triangles from them. This is going to create your ears. Then take the back of your paintbrush and just push into the triangles. It's going to create a little indent to make it look more like an ear. You can pinch the sides to make it more triangular shape, it will make it more defined in the middle. Then using a bit of edible glue you're just going to attach your ears to the head. Then take four balls of icing, you want two to be slightly smaller than the other two. Your slightly smaller ones are going to create your front legs, the slightly bigger ones are going to create the back legs. You then want to roll these into sausages. If you try and make sure that the sausages are about the same length, so the two for the back legs are the same, the two for the front legs are the same, then you're just going to bend over the end of your icing sausage to create the foot. If you pinch um, at where the bend is, then it creates a more defined heel. 
Then bend over the remaining sausage to make it look like the legs are bent over so like he's sitting down. Then take a bit of edible glue and stick these to the sides of your little dog. You'll want to press the end of the sausage more into the body so then it's not just sticking out. Then just correct the shape as you go. Then take your front legs and you're going to want to roll these into sausages as well. Again you'll want to fold over the end of your sausage, pinching the heel as you go to make it more defined. And then using some edible glue, you'll stick these to the front of your dog. So if you stick it to the back of the sausage, so then the heel goes into the body. And then just push down at the top of your sausage into the body, so then it's more flat. Don't worry too much about this, because the Schnauzer's beard will actually cover up the join anyway. Then taking a little bit of icing, you're going to roll it into a thin sausage and then just stick it to the back of your schnauzer as its tail. You can make it as long or as short as you like. I always attach the top of the tail to the schnauzer figure because otherwise it might come off, it uh, makes it more secure. Taking your white paste you need to roll it into a very thin sausage. This is going to create the beard so we're going to do lots of layers of thin sausages. If you take your thin white sausage and just hold it over the nose to try and get an idea of how long you want your beard to be and then just try and put a mark on it so then you know how long it is. Then I just cut multiples of those long white sausages to the same length. Then put a bit of edible glue on the dog's nose and start to stick your sausages onto it to create the beard. If you find that the beard isn't sticking where you want it to, just apply more edible glue. Then using a scrap bit of icing, hold it behind the beard and use your knife to cut it to an equal level. If need be, use a pair of scissors for this point. Then apply edible glue to the end of the nose which is still visible. Then cut bits of your white sausage and stick them on the nose to the length you want to fill in the gap. Don't worry about the join at this point because the nose will cover it. Then take a small bit of black icing, roll it into a ball and then flatten it and try to make a triangular shape. This is going to create the nose. Once you've got it to the shape that you like, then just stick it on where the join is and this will cover it. Then to make the eyes, you're going to use a tiny bit of white and a tiny bit of black. It does, it is very fiddly, 
Um, so don't worry if it takes you a few attempts because it does take me a few attempts. But it's just roll a little ball of white icing, a little ball of black, and then try and put the black on top of the white and it makes it an eye. And there you go, you've made one miniature schnauzer in icing. Mm -hmm.